I'm gonna read um, one poem from from the book, and then and then I'll try some new stuff on you guys. My brother at 3 a.m. He sat cross-legged, weeping on the steps when mom unlocked and opened the front door. Oh God, he said, oh God, he wants to kill me, mom. When mom unlocked and opened the front door at 3 a.m., she was in her nightgown. Dad was asleep. He wants to kill me, he told her, looking over his shoulder. 3 a.m. and in her nightgown, Dad asleep. What's going on, she asked. Who wants to kill you? He looked over his shoulder. The devil does. Look at him over there. She asked, what are you on? Who wants to kill you? The sky wasn't black or blue, but the green of a dying night. The devil. Look at him over there. He pointed to the corner house. The sky wasn't black or blue, but the dying green of night. Stars had closed their eyes or sheathed their knives. My brother pointed to the corner house. His lips flickered with sores. Stars had closed their eyes or sheathed their knives. Oh God, I can see the tail, he said. Oh God, look. Mom winced at the sores on his lips. It's sticking out from behind the house. Oh God, see the tail, he said. Look at the goddamn tail. He sat cross-legged, weeping on the front steps. Mom finally saw it, a hellish vision. My brother, oh God, oh God, she said. So some of my book deals with um, having a, a brother who is a, a meth addict. And so um, some of these poems, the first couple that I'm going to read are about that. <laughs> Um, so I'm kind of obsessed with uh, G the Jesus side wound and all the variations of it. So um, this is one of a, a poem that came out of that obsession. My brother, my wound. He was calling in the bulls from the street. They came like a dark river, a blur of chest and hoof, everything moving under splinter, hooked their horns through the walls, light hummed the holes like yellow jackets, my mouth was a nest torn empty. Then he was at the table, then in the pig's jaws, he was not hungry, he was stop, he was bad apple, he was choking. So I punched my fists against his stomach. Mars flew out and broke open or bloomed. How many small red eyes shut in that husk? He said, look, look, and they did. He said, lift up your shirt, and I did. He slid his fork beneath my ribs. Yes, he sang, a Jesus side wound. It wouldn't stop bleeding. He reached inside and turned on the lamp. I never knew I was also a lamp until the light fell out of me, dripped down my thigh, flew up in me, caught in my throat like a canary. Canaries really means dogs, he said. He put on his shoes. You started this with your mouth, he pointed. Where are you going, I asked. To ride the Ferris wheel, he answered, and climbed inside me like a window. Cranes, mafiosos, and a Polaroid camera. I had a few days left of my stay at the Crane Sanctuary in Kearney, Nebraska, when my brother called. It was 3.24 a.m. It's me, he said. It's your brother. He had taken apart another Polaroid camera and needed me to explain how to put it back together. His voice was a snare drum, knocking and quick. He was crying. I didn't want to wake the other visitors, and I knew he'd keep calling hour after hour, day after day, lifetime after miserable lifetime, until I answered. I slid out of bed, half sprinted, half leapt the hallway into the common kitchen area. Just tell me what to do. You know what to do, he pleaded. I should know how to help my brother by now. He and I have had this exact conversation before. If I love him, if I really love him, why haven't I learned to reassemble a Polaroid camera? 
Instead, I told him about the sandhill cranes, the way they dance, moving into and giving way to one another, bowing down, cresting and collapsing their wings, necks and shoulders, silver curls of smoky rhythm. But he didn't believe me. My brother believes the mafia placed a transmitter deep within his Polaroid camera, but he can't believe in dancing cranes. You think this is a joke? He whispers, these are fucking mafiosos I'm talking about. You're probably next. He hung up on me. That dawn, another rider aimed her digital camera at the sky until the last of an island of late rising cranes lifted into the metallic air. I couldn't take my eyes off the barrel of Lynn's, the fast trigger of her finger against the black skeleton of the camera. I wondered what it would look like cracked open to its upside down mirrors and shiny levers, how many screws there were, how many lantern lit cranes might come unfurling out of that cage. I wondered what she and I would look like if the darkened chambers of our bodies were unlocked. What streams of light might escape us and reveal about the things we collect and hide? And is there a difference between aperture and wound? Mostly, I wondered where my brother keeps getting those goddamned Polaroid cameras. And then I'll, I'll read two more. So these are a little shift. These hands, if not God's. I'm also like obsessed with hands and like all the, you know, like all the things we do with our hands. And uh, I mean, we don't, we, we really take them for granted, you know, it's, but it's like every, everything we do is filtered through our hands. And then, and then to also think of like all the awful things we do with our hands. And so it's, um, I don't know, I have a lot, a lot, there's a lot of hands in my poems just because I'm I mean, just constantly amazed by them, I think, of, and that they're mine and that they, you know, they kind of do, do these things. These hands, if not God's, haven't they moved like glory, like rivers, like light over the seven days of your body? And wasn't that good, them at your hips? Isn't this what God felt when he pressed together the first beloved? everything, fever, vapor, atman, pulses, finally a sin worth hurting for, finally a sweet, a you are mine. It is hard not to have faith in this, that from the blue-brown clay of night, these two potters crushed and smoothed you into being, grind, then curve, built your form up, atlas of bone and throb, fields of muscle, one breast a fig tree, the other a nightingale, both morning and evening. Oh, the beautiful making they do of collision and carve, suffering and stars. Aren't they too the dark carpenters of your small church? Have they not burned on the altar of your belly, eaten the bread of your thighs, broke you to wine, to eker, to nectarious feast? Haven't they bent you forward? Haven't they had you at your knees? And when these hands touched your throat, called by kind the wild animals there, showed you how to take the apple and the rib, how to slip a thumb into your mouth and taste it all, didn't you sing out their 99 names? Zahir, Aleph, hands times seven, Sphinx, Leonids, Locomotura, Holy, 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 Rubidium, August and September. These hands, if not God's, then why, when you have come to me, and I have returned you to that from which you came, bright mud, mineral salt, why then do you whisper, oh, my hekitonjire, my sentimani, my hundred-handed one? And then this last one is, um, I've been reading a lot of odes, the odas, nerudas, um, odes and so and by no means I guess that's an awful thing to start and say oh well you know I've been reading through those odes and then to say I have an ode it's, <laughs> it's no, not trying to make that connection but just that idea again of like taking a single image and just spinning it around and 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 just becoming kind of obsessed with it linguistically and, and imagistically and and spinning things down the page 
And so I'll end on this poem. Ode to the Beloved's Hips. Bells are they shaped on the eighth day, silvered percussion in the morning, are the morning, swing, switch, sway, hold the day away a little longer, a little slower, a little easy. Call to me, I wanna rock, I, I wanna rock, I, I wanna rock right now. So to them I come, struck dumb, chime blind, tolling with a throat full of Hosanna. How many hours bowed against this infinity of blessed trinity, communion of pelvis, sacrum, femur, my mouth, terrible angel, everlasting novena, ecstatic devourer. Oh, the places I have laid them, knelt and scooped the amber, fast honey from their openness. A muzen cob's hidden temple of Tulum, licked smooth the sticky of her hip, heat thrummed osa coxy, lambent slave to ilium and ischium. I never tire to shake this wild hive, split with thumb the sweet dripped comb, hot hexagonal hole, dark diamond to its nectar dervished queen. Me nad tongue come drunk, hum trans honey puller for her hips I am strummed song and succubus they are the sign hip and the cosine a great book the body's Bible opened up to its good news gospel alleluia's ave maria's madre mia's ay 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 dios mios and hip hip hooray cult of cossacks culto de cadera oracle of orgasm rorschach's riddle what do I see hips Innominate bone, wishbone, orpheus bone, transubstantiation bone, hips of bread, wine wet thighs, say the word, and healed I shall be. Bone butterfly, bone wings, bone ferris wheel, bone basin, bone throne, bone lamp, apparition in the bone grotto, sixth mystery, slick rosary bead, deme la gracia of a decade in this garden of carmine flower, exile me to the enormous orchard of Alcinus, spiced fruit, laden tree, in paradise me, because God, I am guilty, I am sin frenzied and full of teeth for pear upon apple upon fig. More than all that are your hips. They are a city, they are kingdom. Troy, the hollowed horse, an army of desire. 30 soldiers in the belly, two in the mouth. Beloved, your hips are the war. At night, your legs love our boulevards, leading me beggared and hungry to your candy house, your Baroque mansion. Even when I am late and the tables have been cleared, in the kitchen of your hips, let me eat cake. O oh, constellation of pelvic glide, every curve a luster, a star, more infinite still, your hips are cosmic, our universe, galactic carousel of burning comets and big, big bangs. Millennium Falcon, let me be your solo. Oh, hot planet, let me circumambulate. Oh, spiral galaxy, I am coming for your dark matter. Along las calles de tus muslos I wander, follow the parade of pulse like a drumline, descend into your plaza del toros, hands throbbing miurabuls, dark isleros, your arched hips, ay mi torera. Down the long corridor, your wet walls lead me like a traje de luces, all glitter, glowed, I am the animal born to rush your rich red muletas, each breath, each sigh, each groan, a hooked horn of want, my mouth at your inner thigh, here I must enter you, mi pobre manolete, press and part you like a wound. Make the crowd pounding in the grandstand of your iliac crest rise up in you and cheer. Thank you. Mm -hmm.